Right, if you've read the description, then you know this is supposed to be a travel pack. And if you haven't read the description, you're probably wondering what the hell it is. And now that I've told you it's a travel pack, you probably think the same thing I did when I first saw this, when I first got delivered. How the hell is that supposed to be a travel pack? How is that supposed to be something that you can keep easily on your person uh, to fill out in case of emergencies? Because what this is, it's not a gagool or a traditional raincoat or anything, it is a poncho. A waterproof poncho meant for more of emergency use. Um, it's been a couple of times I've been to places like zoos and theme parks and stuff like that and one of the things that they sometimes do is they will sell very cheap plastic disposable ponchos in case it starts pissing down with the rain, which sometimes it does do. Uh, and when that happens, everybody's going to get wet, but they still want to enjoy the experience of being out at the zoo or the theme park or whatever. And they didn't have raincoats with them because it's, it was a nice hot sunny day. And of course they didn't want to get hot and sweaty and wear a great big raincoat or something like that. They wanted to wear their summer clothes. So somebody created those temporary little waterproof ponchos that were disposable type things and then somebody decided, possibly before that I as well, I don't know, to create a poncho that is more permanent, one that you're not going to throw away. But the sheer size of it, and that's probably because of the material it's made out of, um, makes it a bit difficult to say it being something that you could uh, fold away easily. It's, you may as well be carrying it yourself wearing it all the time um, or possibly have it sewed in a backpack or something if you're doing some hiking I just don't see this being something you can easily <laughs> that you can easily uh, be uh, carrying for emergency use keep it in the top of your backpack maybe if you're hiking just in case but uh, yeah well I'm gonna go put this on and see what it's like so jump cut oh dear it looks like rain indoors and the first thing I've noticed is that uh, now that I've taken it out of the bag, I can't really see any easy way, even when I've rolled it up exactly the same way as before, to get it back into the bag. Ah, uh, yeah, the bag could do with being just a little bigger than me thinks. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. I'm not going to make any promises, but uh, I'm not really seeing any way to get it in easily. Not unless you can really roll it up even tighter than what it was when it came in, which makes me wonder how did they get it in the bag in the first place? Was it uh, all done by machine or did they have Superman on hand to sort of just squeeze everything individually by hand? But no, it's uh, a bit difficult. Ugh. Yeah, I think that's about the best time to manage and it does. Um, anybody had similar problems with condoms? <clears throat> anyway, comes off easily enough, like a condom unfortunately in some cases, and you do that. Don't worry, the videos aren't monetized because they're YouTube rules, so uh, yeah. Nobody's losing out anything, except possibly YouTube. Uh, yeah, so there we go, it's uh, in, in this format it can actually be used as a blanket it is deliberately designed to be usable as a blanket if you lay it out like so um, how do you actually get into it though we've got velcro bits on the sides here we've got what looks like sections for guy ropes to cut go in although it doesn't look like there's any kind of guy ropes see these sections here are those repeated on the other side yes they are and repeated over this away as well so we've got all of these lovely things for holes to go into. Well, holes that can have things that go into them. And then you've got the actual hood, which is up here. Right. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> it looks like I'm wearing some kind of windsuit, doesn't it? Let's just do a little turn to the back. And then the front, and yeah, there we go. I'm <laughs> yeah, I can see this working quite well. It's just when you compare this to the packaging and whatnot, the main part of this just seems to hang to the bodies a lot more than uh, what seems to be going on here. So, just there must be something else 
going on to allow you to tail it to your side. There's no pockets that I can see here, which is probably a good thing. Um, but I can't see any real way to tighten it up, unless of course, unless of course you're supposed to use the different elbow sections to, uh, let's just see how these, the same kinds of different kinds. No, I think that they are the same kind of velcro, so that means, yeah, you can't actually, I was kind of thinking that you might be able to put those around your back like that and then move them up like that and then do the same with this just to get a sort of snugger tighter fit, but unfortunately that's not how it's designed at all. But that, that would have worked so much better if you could have actually connected these bits like that or so just to make everything a bit tighter, but no, that's not what it's designed like. But I can easily see this if we just unfold this a bit more because it's definitely not quite right. Let's just do this out. Just look in the viewfinder a little bit. The little. Yeah. We're doing this. Yeah, it does look like this can work quite well, and you've got extra options here to make it tighter. And obscure your vision. Uh, but yeah, that in general, I'm quite happy with what, what, uh, what I've got here. It's just I wish the Velcro was a little different, so you could uh, have perhaps a few other options. It's just when you compare it to the packaging, I'll get an image of the packaging and show you what you know the advert made it look like. It made it look like it was something that was going to be tighter around the body, so that you could wander around bodies. In fact, let's just. See if I can zoom out a bit more. No, I'll just have to, yeah. I'll just have to make do with what I've got here. But it just made it look tighter and closer to the body and still let you have a good amount of freedom with your hands and whatnot. Um, you've got a good bit range of motion here. Yeah. It's amazing what they can do with Photoshop, isn't it? <laughs> right. Well, this definitely feels like a decent amount of material. There were, of course, some cards which are going to get blinded by the light because of how everything's going. It's basically the Terra Hiker range, and it's just got some images of different things on. And that's it. There's nothing, you know, the things that you could do with their other products, and that's not going to really show up well because of the light bouncing off the cards. But it's just basically images of mountains, lakes, people hiking and climbing and whatnot. So let's undo this. Ah, bit of a bother to get it off your head. Um, feels like it's made for somebody with a smaller head than my own. But, uh, there. Yeah. But then again, it's also meant to stay on, isn't it? So, yeah. I suppose in hot weather, you would probably end up feeling quite hot in this. Uh, but then, you know, if you've got good bits of ventilation, you can just do that and wax yourself. Um, yeah, I'd have to give this a bit of a field test to know for certain, but the real problem is when I f try folding this up, it's going to be quite uh, quite big, all the same, isn't it? Comes off easily enough. Um, let's just see if I can... Let's see if I can roll this up into something a bit more compact than how it came. Not sure that's going to be possible, but we can certainly give it a try. Yeah, that's uh, my best effort. I've made it twice as long as it was before. <coughs> it certainly won't fit in the bag now. Yeah, it's not. It's not going to go no matter what. Um, which, of course, leads to the question of storage. Where the hell are you going to keep this when you're not actually using it? When you're either moving around yourself, uh, you know, in the countryside or wherever, if you're keep keeping this on you just as some sort of emergency measure when you're in the streets and going to work or something or walking around in town and you don't want to get wet when it starts pissing down the drain because you can't get into any of the buildings because they're all closed and unlike a video game, you don't have the ability to kick doors down without getting into trouble with the police. Uh, yeah. I just don't see where you're going to keep it on your person, except when you're wearing it, unless you've got, say, a backpack or something. Hmm. It might still work. 
but it could potentially just need a little less material to work out a little better, I think. And then, of course, there's the issue of what it looks like compared to uh, the imagery on the adverts and whatnot. And reality. 